Why does the Amazon rainforest turn creatures into predators? Have you ever stepped into a jungle and felt like the trees themselves are watching? In the Amazon, life is a constant game of hide-and-seek. This rain-filled jungle is teeming with life, but much of that life is deadly. Every animal and insect you see has one goal – get enough food without becoming lunch. The Amazon has no real winter, so plants grow year-round and animals stay hungry all the time. That means millions of creatures compete over every meal. Scientists say this leads to an evolutionary arms race for survival. In plain terms, the jungle forces animals to adapt fast or starve. Often the easiest way to get food is to become a hunter. So why do so many Amazon creatures act like they're on the hunt? Stick around and you'll see how this intense competition pushes animals to turn into predators. Land Predators On land, the Amazon's predators run the show. Think of the jaguar. This big cat is both stealthy and lethal. A male jaguar can weigh as much as 136 kilograms, and it has sharp teeth built to ambush prey and crush skulls. Their rosette-patterned fur is perfect camouflage, helping them melt into bushes and shadows. Jaguars hunt deer, peccaries, tappers, and even turtles by sneaking up close and pouncing. They even swim across rivers to grab fish or caimans. When a jaguar steps out of the underbrush, it's both silently stalking and surprisingly powerful. Big snakes also join the land hunt. The green anaconda, for example, is a giant constrictor. It can grow up to 9 meters long and weigh around 250 kilograms. It hunts by coiling around prey like capybaras, deer, or even caimans, squeezing until its victim cannot breathe. One bite and the anaconda wraps its muscular coils, snuffing out life. In fact, anacondas are so strong they have been known to eat jaguars whole. They hide in murky water waiting for a mistake. A capybara drinks at the river's edge and snap, the snake pulls it under. Smaller but fierce hunters are everywhere too. The fer de lance is a venomous pit viper that ambushes by blending in. It hides among fallen leaves and strikes with deadly venom. Its bite causes tissue rot and can kill larger animals. And don't forget insects. A giant Amazonian centipede, 30 centimeters long, will pounce on frogs or bats, injecting venom with its fangs. Even ants play tough. The bullet ant sting is described as the worst in the insect world, causing hours of pain. In the Amazon, size isn't everything. Adaptation is key. From big cats to tiny spiders, land creatures have learned hunting tricks to survive. Water Warriors The rivers and wetlands of the Amazon are no less dangerous. Here, creatures of the deep have their own arsenal. Take the black caiman. This crocodile relative can grow over 5 meters long and weigh as much as 450 kilograms. It lies nearly invisible in murky water, then lunges with powerful jaws to ambush anything that steps too close. Capybaras, tapers, even people. Black caimans are apex predators of the water, meaning almost nothing hunts them. They ambush wild pigs, small animals, and even large mammals, according to wildlife experts. Fish aren't safe either. The electric eel is really a knife fish with a shocking trick. It can discharge up to 600 volts, enough to stun a human to knock out prey. Hidden in muddy water at night, an eel lies in wait and then delivers a deadly jolt. Nearby, piranhas patrol in schools. These slashing fish have sharp teeth and work together to feed. When food is scarce, they can trigger a feeding frenzy, taking turns biting to quickly tear flesh. Usually, piranhas eat fish and insects, but even a wounded mammal might not escape a school's collective hunger. Yes, there's even a shark in the Amazon River. Bull sharks regularly swim from the Atlantic up the river. They tolerate fresh water and have been found far inland. An angry bull shark in a flooded river can be deadly. And creepy predators hide in the smallest spots. The candiru is a tiny parasitic fish that 
hunts by sensing urea and will swim up a fish's gills or even a mammal's orifice feeding on blood. <laughs> Yikes. Though rare, it reminds us that even minnows can be menacing here. On the other side, pink river dolphins quietly eat fish and crustaceans using sonar and smarts. They're not harmful to humans, but they show how even the smartest Amazon animals survive by hunting. Rivers teem with predators because water holds lots of creatures to eat. In the Amazon, if you live in water, you evolve a way to hunt in it. Sky Hunters Look up, and danger still looms. The canopy and sky are the realm of winged predators. The harpy eagle is the most famous. Weighing up to 9 kilograms with a 2.5-meter wingspan, it patrols high above the ground. Harpies have enormous talons, the largest of any eagle, and eyes that spot movement from high perches. Often they sit patiently near salt licks or river edges, then strike swiftly at monkeys, sloths, or opossums that wander below. If a monkey tries to dart through the canopy, a harpy will chase it, weaving through branches to catch it. In these thick trees, the harpy has learned to hunt by both waiting and active pursuit. Its power and speed make it an apex aerial hunter in the Amazon. Other birds join the action too. Harpy eagles might be kings, but hawk-like crested eagles and powerful owls prowl the night, hunting rodents and reptiles. Even some parrot species will eat eggs or nestling birds if hungry. And bats aren't harmless either. The spectral bat, the largest bat, hunts fish by snagging them with claws from below. Vampire bats feed on blood, living predators in their own way. In the air, seeing and swooping are survival tools. Raptors in the Amazon have to be stealthy to catch prey hiding in the green jungle maze. Survival Tricks – How Predators Adapt Why do these animals turn into hunters? The answer comes down to survival and competition. In the Amazon, there's plenty of food, but not all of it is easy or safe to get. Plants grow almost everywhere, but so do competitors. Fruit trees drop food, but so do thousands of other animals. You have to beat them to it. If you can't eat seeds or leaves, the next option is meat. In this fierce environment, evolution has given predators amazing tricks. For example, camouflage is everywhere. Jaguar spots help them blend with shadows. Leaf mimic katydids and stick insects hide from predators by looking just like parts of a plant. On the offensive side, many Amazon hunters have extra weapons. Venomous snakes like the fer de lance inject poison that can kill tissue. Poison dart frogs soak up alkaloids from the ants they eat to make their own skin lethal. Predators have sensory superpowers too. Electric eels detect prey with electroreceptors, and night hunting owls hear the slightest rustle. This is nature's balance. Predators keep populations in check, fish numbers stay healthy thanks to piranhas, and rodents don't overrun because owls and fox like bush dogs hunt them at night. Scientists note that the Amazon's food web is tightly linked. Remove a predator, and the whole chain can wobble. In fragmented forests, for instance, herbivores might boom without jaguars. Then predators starve and disappear. Evolution has forged these hunters over millions of years so the ecosystem stays stable. In short, the jungle forces species to adapt clever ways to eat or escape being eaten. Life or death? Why being a hunter matters? Now you might be thinking, is the jungle really so mean? Actually, it's just nature's rules turned up high. In an environment as competitive as the Amazon, being a predator is simply a way to survive. If you can hunt, you gain access to lots of food that others can't reach. For many animals, it's a matter of life or death. Imagine three monkeys. One eats fruit, one eats leaves, and one starts catching insects. When fruit is rare, the insect eater still finds protein. Or picture a frog. It could munch algae in a pool, or it could hunt tiny bugs for more nutrients. In the Amazon, those who diversify and hunt have an edge. That's why frogs became poisonous eating toxic insects for defense 
and why birds of prey evolved sharp talons and hooked beaks. It's not cruelty, it's survival strategy. The predators didn't choose to be scary, they simply adapted to eat what was available. Even humans who have lived here turned to hunting and fishing constantly. Ancient tribes used poisonous darts, blowguns, traps, and more. If they hadn't become skilled hunters, they'd starve. The jungle pushed them just as it does the jaguar and the piranha. Yes, it's a tough story, and sometimes it seems brutal, but this fierce balance is what keeps the rainforest so rich. Every predator from the smallest spider to the biggest cat plays a role. Their presence means the ecosystem remains full of life. Predators signal a healthy forest. They shape life out there. So why does the Amazon seem to turn creatures into predators? Because in that dense jungle, every mouth needs to eat. The Amazon isn't gentle. It's a non-stop survival game. And in this game, hunters have the advantage. We've learned that animals adapt in amazing ways. Jaguars crush skulls. Anacondas squeeze mammals silent. Harpy eagles soar with lethal claws. And even tiny frogs and ants pack deadly defenses. Next time you hear a howler monkey or spot a flash of pink in the river, remember the jungle's rulebook or be eaten. The Amazon rainforest is not just pretty green scenery. It's a breathtaking survival story written in teeth and talons. And that's what makes it so wild and wonderful.